Oh no, they're dying! Eastern Canada! Defend! Defend yourself! No! German! No! Oh, they're completely ineffective! Completely ineffective, these troops! Oh no. Oh no. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are relaxing with a bit of Axis and Allies. This is one of my favorite PC games. I, I think I can say that safely. It's weird to say because it's technically actually a board game, but I've had this game installed on every computer I have owned probably for the last 10 years, and I'll go years without playing it. Um, actually, not even years, but like months. And then once in a while, I'll go on an Axis and Allies kick and I'll just hop in and have a load of fun with this. So this is basically just a PC translation of the board game. So this is kind of actually riding the line for me. This is a gaming channel and I'm kind of playing a board game for you guys today. Um, but I do love board games. Um, but you know, with board games, my, my, uh, the Achilles heel of board games for me is that I want to play games all the time. With board games, you actually have to have people over, and like, if you play Axis and Allies, if you've ever played Axis and Allies in person, it takes like all day. It's so, like, you can get one game in, it'll take like six hours. On the computer, uh, ga the games go a lot faster, because the computer's calculating everything for you. You don't have to set up boards, and you don't need friends. The computer will play with you, so... <laughs> For someone like me, doesn't really have any friends. This is a great way to kind of feel feel special. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and be Germany, the evil Germans. Uh, there's there's a few ways you can do this. So in Axis and Allies, it's Germany and Japan versus the rest of the world. There's a few kind of cool ways to do it. Germany is obviously sort of the the epicenter of the game. It's where all the action is going. The Allies are trying to invade Germany and so on. Japan can be pretty fun actually because basically when you play as Japan, the rest of the world just uh, distracts while you go ahead and try to uh, slowly conquer the world. You can like invade America and stuff, which is pretty awesome. Um, the only other sort of power I like to play as is the USSR. Now this is a very hard mode because the USSR is sandwiched between Germany and Japan and is very much weaker than uh, Germany. So it's a very tricky very tricky uh, game to play but it can be pretty fun. The only downside is that you know with Germany or Japan you get to take over the world but with the USSR you get to liberate the world and you don't really get to conquer all that much. Usually uh, you just kind of hold out until the UK or USA make a decisive strike on Germany, and then when they're off balance, then you swing in, and you might capture, you know, Berlin, but then beyond that, you don't really have a huge empire at the end of it. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and be Germany, because it's the funnest. Now, the very cool, cool, cool thing about this game is there are so many different things that you can customize. Second edition rules, third edition rules. You can like click on all these various things. So if if you know the board game at all, you know that after the original board game came out, there were subsequent a number of revisions that came out afterwards that basically changed the game quite a bit. These are kind of like you know in in computer parlance, they're uh, patches or post game DLC. What's really cool is that you can like pick which one of these rules it would be like having a monopoly game we can like specify does free parking give you the money in the middle which in the classic monopoly rules that does not exist that's just a house rule that everyone adopts i don't know but it'd be like having a game of monopoly where you could like customize all these awesome uh rules and it is uh pretty amazing you can even go in by the way and you can like edit units so it's like in later versions of the game the tank actually had a defense uh, score of three rather than two, so you can actually up that. Or you can be like, ah, oh, what the hell, let's make it four. Let's go crazy with things. Um, we're going to leave it as the default, though, because uh, we don't want to cheese anything. But here are the units that we're going to see. So you have soldiers, tanks, uh, aircraft, bombers. What else we got? Battleships, uh, aircraft carriers, transport, subs, AA guns, factories, and then we're back to soldiers. Um, pretty pretty awesome game if you like games like risk you will love this game i'm going to turn off the ipc victory basically the way you win in this game is you can capture two enemy capitals you can have a total victory which i means i think you have to capture all enemy territories there's world domination ipc just means you have you captured enough territories that your side uh, produces 
uh, 84 billion credits worth of units every turn. Um, we're going to turn that off because we actually want to uh, destroy our opponents. We have the two-hit battleship on. That's sort of a standard rule I usually play with. Variety of other rules, if you're curious. Uh, I think we don't need the rest. Let's just go ahead and hop right in. So without further ado, let's start it off. Now, the game always starts off um, with the set. The, the turns basically go USSR. Uh, then I think it goes to Germany, then it goes UK, Japan, USA, um, and it, so it always cycles that way. So if you've never played this game before, you'd be like, what the hell's going on? Well, the Russian forces are taking their turn, and they're basically uh, trying to bomb some of our uh, German forces. So we had a boat and a sub that were hanging out in a place they shouldn't be, uh, and the transport's going to get destroyed. That's okay. We're going to submerge the submarine, and so it escapes. This is in the Baltic Sea. That's where that battle took place. And Russia gained 24 IPCs. IPCs are basically the currency. Now, when you start your turn, you always have the option uh, to spend some money on weapon development. So, uh, now, weapon development is absolutely worthless. Um, basically, you roll a die, and if you get, like, a six, then one of these things unlocks. And, like, jet power is useless. Super sub, not really useful. Industrial tech, not really that, really that useful. Rockets are kind of useful, actually. Uh, and heavy bombers are what you really want. But you can't even afford bombers at the early stage. So it's a newbie tact to spend any money on weapons development. Usually, by the time you're spending money on weapons development, you're going to win the game. Like, you clearly uh, are going to win the game. So here are all the units that you can buy. Infantry have only one attack value, but two defense, and they cost three to get. So they are sort of your bread and butter of defending. The tanks have an attack value of three, which is really good, but they have a similar defense as infantry and they cost five. So when you're on the defensive, you really want to be spending more in infantry than armor, but you got to balance it because at some point you got to bring the armor in to sort of smash the opponent. Um, you have fighters, which are really cool, that can fly really far. They're very powerful, as you can see, but they have to land in a friendly territory after they've attacked. Same with bombers. Bombers are really powerful, but they suck at defense. And then you have your various other ships and stuff. So here is, here's our battlefields. Here's the glorious empire of the Germans. Um, just kidding. I, uh, I'm very happy the Germans lost the Second World War. <laughs> Nazism is terrible. But in game form, it can be fun to sort of reenact these historical battles. So we're going to take an apolitical view of uh, this whole situation right here, guys. Let's not think too hard about this. But, uh, okay. So the first thing that we want to do is uh oh we, we haven't even purchased units yet that's right okay yeah and we're so basically our game plan is going to be to try and delay the russians here we'll slowly try to whittle them down and maybe uh invade russia proper um while we're doing that we're gonna have to maintain a bit of a crew over here to protect against the insidious uk and uh and american forces i like how canada is just lumped in with england and look it's like literally there's there's only two zones in Canada. Canada is only worth two zones. Uh, look at look at Europe. Look how, how many zones it's spread out into. Canada's only worth two. It's ridiculous. And like the entire output of Canada is four IPCs, four credits. Look, Africa is worth like eight or ten. What? I think Canada... Be, I may be biased here because I am a Canadian, but I think Canada's better in Africa. <laughs> Maybe, that, maybe that's extreme bias there. Anyway, here's America. It's also only two zones, but like, man, the Western the Western U.S. is powerful. So is the Eastern U.S. And here's Japan. Um, so basically what's going to happen is Japan is slowly going to like whittle away Russia's eastern front. That'll be good for us because Russia will head east. Then what we'll do is slowly try and whittle these forces down, try and get a border going here. And while we're doing that, we're going to be capturing... Uh, Africa, trying to pump out as much money out of the African economy as we can to fund our defense of uh, of, of this uh, space. Now, these forces, Finland is lost. There's going to be no way to defend this. So we're really going to have to move our forces over here really quick. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I want some tanks and soldiers, really. So let's just see what we can get. I could get seven soldiers in two tanks um, or I could get four soldiers and four tanks that sounds like a good deal to me uh, you know what I'm gonna err on the side of soldiers because we need those guys first we need good defense okay now time for the combat move so we're basically abandoning Finland because there's gonna be no way to defend it so we're just straight up giving it away you guys can just you, you can just have it 
Um, I'm gonna try and move my sub here. It's not gonna try and actually sink this stuff. It's basically gonna try and survive one round of combat and then retreat down here. Um, now, while it's doing that, I gotta sink this battleship. This is the old Bismarck. We gotta get rid of that because that, if, if that survives, it's problematic for us. Um, we could start transporting some troops into Africa, but the problem... Or actually, you know what? You know what? Maybe, should we let the Bismarck go? If we let it go, we might be able to actually speed up our conquest of Africa. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna try and... Ah... Okay, change of plans, change of plans. We're just gonna, we're, we're gonna hope that the sub survives. We're gonna set the sub up here. We'll retreat together. Um, we're going to, let's see how we're gonna do this. Two guys in here, and we're gonna unload them over here. Okay, so the battleship's gonna sink the sub, then it's gonna support these guys while they try to invade Africa. The cool thing about tanks is they have two movement points, so I can capture that territory and then swing into here. So that's gonna be pretty effective. This guy's gonna capture that territory. So we're gonna get some more money, some sweet, sweet money out of this. Now, the thing is, I could try to sink this with aircraft. I don't know if I should do that yet or not. I'm still thinking, guys. Still trying to puzzle out all the pieces. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to take that territory yet. Maybe, I I'm playing this very defensively. But okay, let's see what we can actually do here. What kind of things can we do? We can't go that far. Could we, in theory, if we wanted to, could we sink this battleship? Oh, this is so this is so dicey. I feel like I'd waste all my aircraft. I'm so protected with my aircraft, now forget it. You know what we are gonna do though? We're gonna bomb the English. Because that's what you do when you're German. So you can send your bombers over to enemy territory and you don't have to try to capture it, but you can just uh you can just basically bomb them. So yeah, I'm playing this like uber defensively, by the way. We're going to bring all our soldiers to the front lines. Move these guys back. Move this guy over. Okay. I think that will be okay. We don't even need... Oh, we'll leave one guy there just in case. But okay, so that's my battle plan. Let's see how this plays out. Can the master tactician Jay outsmart the insidious English? Um, so we have to do this first. I should have sent an aircraft over here. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, we took a hit. One hit to our battleship. Our battleships can take two hits. They're the only unit in the game that can. So that battleship is now weak. Oh, dear God. So we missed all of our rolls, and they hit on all of theirs. So we're, we're basically losing this fight. Damn it. Hey, come on. Tank on tank. Tank on tank. Oh, come on! No! We lost all of our forces in Africa. That's about as bad as that battle can go. That usually doesn't go that bad. Alright. Uh, well, we did sink their transport, which was good. But we got sunk. We're gonna go ahead and retreat. That's fine. We might lose that sub to the other battleship that we didn't take care of. And now we're gonna go ahead and attack here. This is just sort of a guerrilla attack. Oh, God, but they wiped everything out. I was hoping I could retreat with that tank. But, uh, okay. Um, the war's starting off pretty rough for Germany. Now we can, our, our battle, our bomber here can potentially get, uh, shot down with AA guns, which would really suck. But it did not! Zero bombers shot down. We destroyed three of their IPCs. So yeah, you can destroy their money by bombing their territories, which is pretty awesome. Um, that's basically it. So now you bring your, your guys back. Now we are, oh god, we're gonna have, we're really gonna have to, uh, bring some dudes down here because this tank is just going to really wreck our day. God, I can't believe we lost that battle. That's like a decisive battle to lose, actually. Because if you wipe this out, then Africa's yours for the taking. As it is, it's going to take us a few extra turns to get down there. Real pain in the butt. Okay, we'll throw a few troops down here. And, okay. <laughs> and then the rest in Germany. And that looks good. That, that, that feels good to me. The Germans are happy with that resolution. All right, now the United Kingdom. Yep, see, look, they took Libya and Algeria. And they're attacking our sub. They destroyed three of our action points. They they turned the tables on us. They're like, hey, bombing is kind of cool. Maybe we'll do it too. And um, they sunk our sub. But we got a hit on their battleship. Their stupid, stupid battleship. And that's about all they do. England is a very passive. Uh, oh yeah, and Japan is gonna go ahead. They took over India pretty pretty important 
uh, England is kind of weak in this game. I mean, obviously it needs America in order to do anything, but America is very delayed in in doing stuff because they have to build stuff in America and like ship it to England. So it's like as Germany, you get a couple of turns before the heat turns up because uh, England and America have to coordinate and it takes them a while to do so. Anyway, J Japanese military advances. And here we go. We get to see all the... The, uh, the industrial output of the different countries, England went down a bit, Japan went up, and that's about all that changed. We see all our glorious statistics. Um, when I was cleaning out my grandpa's house years ago, by the way, I found old newspapers that literally were like that, that are pretty crazy. Like, I have some old newspapers that I kept um, that he had that say things like, you know, uh, German subs in the Atlantic, sinking transports, and like really crazy stuff. Like, to imagine that people lived through that. That's insane. Like, not to say that, like, global, you know, there aren't wars and stuff going on in the world these days, but, like, it's, it, it's, does, just does not seem as huge as, like, you know, a war in Europe, like World War II. It's, like, unbelievable to think of that that actually happens. Crazy. Okay. So we're, we're trying to keep up with tank production because we need the tanks to take the territory at the end of the day. Yeah, look at, look at what Russia's doing. That's bull, man. That is bull. We're gonna try and lure them though into uh, Eastern Europe. See if see if they fall for the old bait. But uh, meanwhile, we gotta do this. Move here and gotta take this territory. This stupid tank. It's like ruining my day. I'm gonna. In fact, will this make sense? I'm gonna send one aircraft down there to start. Taking part in the old, uh, in the old uh, African campaign here. In fact, you know what? This is risky. We're gonna send the bomber too. We're gonna, we're gonna really try and make sure we take out this tank. I don't want that tank causing us any more troubles. Now we can, we should be able to bomb this thing. It's good to kill enemy transports when you have the chance, because otherwise, again, they just cause you problems. Send a few guys there. We'll send a few guys here like this. And yeah, let's see what happens with this. So we're trying to destroy the tank so we can get we can get Africa to ourselves. Meanwhile, we're gonna kill this transport. And we're moving guys out of here to try and get the Russians to go like this so then we can pincer them and wear down some of their forces. Because if we let this build up, it'll be like 50 soldiers before you know it, and then that's trouble. What we really need is Japan to start invading uh, invading uh, Soviet Russia over here to distract them over in that direction. And as you can see, not much is going on in America. Pretty peaceful over here. Got the awesome flag flying. We need a Canadian flag right here. Oh look, Canadian and American troops. They're just all hanging out. Have they're, they're, just, they're just the best of friends. Canada and America, they're the best of friends. All right. America is like Canada's rich friend who, you know, kind of never had to struggle for anything. So he's kind of got like a weird worldview, but like, you know, he's still our friend at the end of the day. We're all still chums. Um, <laughs> but he's definitely the rich friend. Okay, here we go. Ah, yes. It sucks to lose these aircraft because they're so expensive. And these ships can sink them if they get lucky with a roll. But uh, we, did not, uh, we did not lose that battle. Um, you may be wondering about the rolls. So um, the planes have an attack value of 3, meaning if they roll a 1, 2, or 3, they hit four, five, and six are misses. The uh, infantry have an attack value of one, meaning a roll of one hits and anything else misses. That's when they're attacking. When they're defending, they have different statistics. So a soldier has a defense value of two. So one or two on a six-sided die is a hit. And so basically that's all it is to the combat. You just roll one die for each unit. You see uh, if, it, if it corresponds to their attack or defense value. And if it is, you got a hit and then the enemy has to assign it. So what you do in these big battles, you send a lot of soldiers in, then a lot of tanks. And the tanks are the ones doing the hits on the attack. And whenever you suffer hits, you assign it to the soldiers first to get rid of them. Because they're not really contributing all that much. Anyway. Okay, our non-combat move here. We have to... Actually, do this. So we're bringing our bomber back to Germany. Um, meanwhile, we are a few planes over there just in case they get adventurous and decide to invade us so yeah we have to land this plane it can't stay in algeria and i don't think it can fly back yeah one two oh it could fly here okay we'll, we'll fly there so the planes only have four movement so after you move two 
then they have to go back to. So if you move three, then they might have to land over here. So Africa is ripe for retaking if America wanted to do it, but I don't think they do. These, by the way, there's all these neutral territories. You can take them if you want, like you can invade them. It costs you some IPCs, some credits to actually do so. And it's not really that advantageous. I mean, once in a while it might be useful to do so, but most of the time they're countries that just aren't worth, uh, just aren't worth doing anything about. Okay, so we have a pretty nice tank brigade that's actually built up. So we'll see how this goes. They destroyed one of my IPCs. Ha ha! What a foolish mission. Why would you risk your bomber on that? Silly English. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. The USSR is doing good. They repelled Japan's attack. Japan, dude. Yeah, we destroyed the American bomber. That's a big deal. If you can destroy the bombers early on, if you get lucky and destroy them, then it really screws them up because they can't bomb you every turn. You get more money exponentially as the game goes. Uh, the way the AA guns work is basically if an AA gun rolls a 1, so when a bomber comes to bomb your territory, you roll a dice, and if it rolls a 1, then you hit the bomber, and the bomber is now destroyed. So it's like a 1 in 6 chance of destroying it. Oh, we destroyed a, we destroyed a Russian tank. Guess you should have sent more than a single unit there to attack us. That was incredibly foolish. Okay, we're gonna start building up some uh, some soldiers here because we have to start invading these guys. They have 23 soldiers there. They're just going pure turtle mode. They're just completely tanking up there. Okay, let's do this. This, like this. We'll bring in our bomber for support. Forget about bombing the English. We need Africa. Africa is our, our key to victory. So we're gonna start spreading these guys around this there we go that looks pretty good okay yeah look at all the troop transports and battleships and aircraft carriers that are building up it's not looking good for uh for europe we got we got to get in there as quick as we can um now the tanks maybe i don't want to do this let's do this let's let's actually get an offensive uh started up here like this what I need them to do is capture one of these territories so that they have some incentive to try to um, move units there and split these guys up. Because what I really want to do is take over Corellia. If you take over Corellia, that sort of really hampers Corellia and the Caucasus. That really hampers their ability to produce stuff. But if Japan would get their act together, that would significantly help my cause here. Um, there's no point in doing anything with the planes, so we're just going to leave that as is. I'm going to move one troop over here just to make sure we're well defended. They're spending a lot of money on boats, but they don't have any troops. It's a boat-based navy. Nothing but boats. Maybe they're all self-driving boats. They're years ahead in the Google tech. Google was invented in the 1920s in this alternate reality. So my battleship hit and my bomber hit, and he still got one of my troops. But that's okay. Because that's going to cause problems for him. They, he has no capacity to rebuild soldiers, so Persia's... You know what? Japan's going to take Persia, is, aren't they? Those jerks. I did all the hard work, and they're going to take Persia. They built a factory in India, though, so that's pretty good. Um, all right. I think that's really all we have to do. Um, oh, we, and we can't move that far. Okay, we're going to go here. That's a pretty well-defended area. That's fine. And that's it, I think. So we have a lot of tanks. I'm liking, I'm liking how this is going, tank-wise two soldiers there. I always put two soldiers in southern Europe in case I decide to throw them in a boat because you can only put two soldiers in a boat but tanks it doesn't really matter where you put them because um it's so hard to see with that place unit uh thing. I'll show you I'll show you why tanks don't matter in a little bit. Oh y'all <laughs> man the the British bombers need better training. They suck. Keep barely barely doing anything here. Um, yeah, look Look at all the territory Japan is taking. Oh, what, what are you doing in Africa, dude? No, 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 get out of Africa. That's my territory. Oh, my God. You know, Japan is our ally. So I do want them to do well, but, like, I don't want them to do that well. Oh, man. <laughs> this, I, I am, like, a defending champion, but I don't want to defend. I want them to actually take one of my territories here. Oh my god, okay, so Russia's taking some of their territories back. Oh, okay, they got Persia back. That's something. Um, oh, they're attacking Eastern Europe. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, yeah. oh, we decimated them! 
Oh my god, it, we got through all their infantry and we hit tanks and aircraft. Oh, yes. That is what you want to see in a battle. Maybe we don't have to invade them, we can just let them come to us. Okay, yes, now take that territory. Oh, boo-hoo. They got that wimpy little territory from me, that's okay. Um, oh! Oh god, I almost, I thought I almost clicked uh, skip. Are you sure you don't want to buy any units? No, I'm not sure about that. Okay, so all I was saying with uh, placing two soldiers down here is you can put them in, in the ship if you want. Placing tanks here, here doesn't matter because tanks placed here, here, they can get here, they can get here, they can get here. So it doesn't really matter what territory they're in. It's nice to split them up, but you definitely want to make sure more of the stuff is here. Because if they capture your capital, by the way, they get all your money. So that's one more thing about this game. If we captured Russia right now, we would get all of the money they have, which is like 25. So we would be powerhouses. And then if they capture it back, they don't get their money back. They have to spend a turn with no money and then hopefully get it back the next uh, turn after that. Oh yeah, you can see the forces are building up in Finland and Norway. Um, not looking too good for us. So what do we want to do here? We, is it time to invade? Time to invade them. I can't believe Japan is horning in on Africa. Dude, get the hell. S stay out of Africa, man. Stay out of Africa. Um, so I guess... I guess we just want more more troops and tanks. It's really this, the standing order in the German army is just troops and tanks. Troops and tanks. Okay. So we're going to go like this. Um... Maybe we should just... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> like, he'll be okay, probably. So, wait. This guy can go over here. That's fine. And now this guy... We're going to bring this guy back. And then there's nothing he can do. That took, just took a whole turn for him to do that. If I take this, he's going to take that. Or he's going to take that, which would be even worse. Once your ally takes a territory, you can't steal it from your allies. <laughs> it's problematic. I'm just gonna stay here and hopefully this guy doesn't come over here. Because I, I want this one IPC. This belongs. The Belgian Congo belongs to the Germans. You stay away, uh, Japanese. Why are you in Africa? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, maybe we'll go over here to attack them. No, because then they'll attack with. Oh, they don't have any aircraft left. One, two, three. Hmm. <laughs> you, can, you can tell I'm like really struggling with this decision. Okay, whatever. Let's just bring them over here we'll we'll we definitely do want to uh, attack Persia here so whatever that's fine now let's go like this one two three four five six seven let's bring all of our tanks in it is time to show the Russians the true might of the German army we've been playing cat and mouse games with them so far but uh, no more cat no more mouse it's time for all claws time to time for you guys to realize this kitten has claws I'm uh, gonna bring some soldiers up. That's about all we got, really. We're hitting them with everything we got. There's three soldiers here. We're hitting them with seven soldiers, 16 armor, and a plane. One plane. Um, that would be pretty terrifying if you were those soldiers told to defend that territory. That's all we can do. So, newsflash, we have taken Algeria. That's pretty easy. They put up literally no resistance. That's how many hits we got on them, and they got one on us. See ya. All right, so we have what is it, 22 defending units here against maybe... If they went all in, that would be 27 units. And these have crappy attacks. We could probably hold off that defense. So the reason... What, is there any more attacks? No, it's done. It's done. The reason that I didn't uh, initially just start attacking them right from the get-go is that it would just be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and they would wear us down. So as the Germans, you have to really guard your tanks like your life depends on it, because it really does. The way you win as the Germans is a slow buildup of tanks. So two soldiers there, the rest in Germany that you can't even see, and then I'll just put the other tanks in Germany, because whatever. And we got 36 IPC. We've been, man, this battle has been going a while, and we have barely earned any more money. We have like new territories and stuff, but it's not really adding up to all that much. All right, Japan. What? Why? You, well, South Africa was mine! Mine! Oh, you're taking it all, Japan! You're taking it all for yourself. Allying with you was a huge mistake. Oh my god. The Japanese juggernaut moves forward. Holy crap, look at them! They're like surging ahead! 
Maybe I'm gonna have to like reconsider my alliances. Should I be allied with the Russians and the Americans here? Against the Japanese? Because... Just saying. Seems like... Seems like uh, they they might <laughs> they might eventually turn on me. I mean, they, what could what could satisfy their their desire for all this territory? Look at them. They just they wipe. They're just swinging across the entire world. Okay. Well, guess what? I guess I can take the Belgian Congo now because it doesn't look like there's any British left to try and take it back. So I kind of got Africa, but really Japan beat me to it. They're they're really taking more than their fair share here. I wanted Persia. That's just like another IPC. Um, okay, so here's our plan. We're gonna take this boat up here over here go into the Caucasus and we're gonna bring all of our troops over here and That puts Russia in a dangerous position because if they don't move a bunch of troops back to Russia We're gonna take it and they're gonna be boned uh, So they're gonna have to move a lot of troops here, but that will open up Karelia for us So we're, we're thinking on, 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 on Four dimensions here guys on what we want to do all the all the allied troops are just busy hanging out up here. They're not doing anything, which is really good for Germany. See, giving them Finland was actually a brilliant plan because now they're wasting all this time putting putting troops into Finland and walking them over here. It's taking them forever. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and uh, screw them over. So we're going to all all tanks on this five tanks and two soldiers because it is time it is time for the invasions to begin. So bring all of our troops over here. Bringing all of our troops like this. All of our troops like this. In fact, now nah, we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bringing it all. And like there's no point in hanging around here because Japan seems to have it covered. So maybe we'll just go like that. This guy goes over here. And unloads on here. Now normally there'd be, uh, you know, uh, Russian aircraft you got to worry about. So if you're if you were this close to them, they could attack you and they could sink both these ships. But we took care of their aircraft just by luck far earlier in the game. So I think we're, we're fine here. Uh, don't forget to take the Congo before Japan gets it. The greedy, greedy bastards. <laughs> All these ships are not doing them any good. Uh, you know what, I guess... Should we bomb them? Should we bomb them? We could bomb uh, Russia if we really wanted. Let's go ahead and bomb England though. Because if I capture Russia's money, I want all the money. Don't want to have bombed any of it away. Um, you can capture Australia too if you're in Japan, which is kind of fun. Like, look at all Japan's territories. They got like the Philippines, the French Indochina. They have China. All of China now belongs to Japan. That is crazy. They're going to pump so many Nintendo Entertainment Systems out of this place in the 80s. They're not going to know what happened. When you're under the rule of Imperial Japan, you make Nintendo Entertainment Systems or you die. Okay, so this looks like a pretty good strategy to me. I think this is a winning strategy. Oh, let's move these guys up because they're not doing any good where they are. I'm really just using my planes for defense. I mean, I guess I could, but what's the point? Because then they just have to move here and they'll get destroyed. Like, if they move over here, it costs three units. Then where are they going to go to land? They'll have to land here, and then they're just going to invade because there's only three guys defending them. So there's really no point in trying to bring them into the mix. They'll just get killed. No point in moving the tanks up because they might attack and they'll lose the tanks. And even if they were here, they couldn't get over to Russia. They would only be able to get here, and I can just bring them there anyway if I decide to attack here. They can just go whoop. So, okay, that, that's my whole move. Uh, I wish to bombard, yes. Belgian Congo. So the battleship can, can bombard a territory if you do a troop landing. So you get one free hit before the battle even begins. So eight soldiers and 16 tanks versus four guys. Uh, my battleship missed, but they only got one hit on me, and I got a crap load on them. And that's how you do it. Now they are in a pickle. They are in a serious pickle. Um, we destroyed... Oh my god, England's down to 16! 16 dollars! $16. They are poor. Poor as crap. Jeez. Alright, that's basically it for us. Non-combat phase, go back to Germany. Um, come back to a hero's welcome, pretty much, for destroying all that... Uh, British money? Is it just like England just has a whole bunch of money hanging around and we just bomb the money factories? That's what I like to imagine happens. Um, okay, we're we're in good shape here. There's really no other non-combat move I'd like to do. Let's go ahead and place our units. We already have... Oh no, we'll put two soldiers there. The rest there. We're good. I guess the only thing I gotta worry about is if they actually got wise and decided to bring their boats in and attack here. Because they don't actually have a lot defending Germany. Uh-oh. 
Uh, now I'm, I'm seeing there's only seven, eight, nine. There's, there's only ten units. The planes are really good defensively, but they have two battleships. I hope they're not smart enough to do this, because that would that would be really problematic. Um, oh, they destroyed six of our IPCs. We have literally not been out of the low 30s this entire game. This this turn we earned 40 IPCs and we still couldn't get enough uh, to get out of the low 30s because England just keeps being annoying and bombing us. Japan has taken Panama. What is happening in the world? What is, oh my God. Oh my God. They, I mean, I, again, I holy crap, 50 IPCs. I want them to do well. I want them to kind of be screwing over the uh, the Germans here, but dear God. There, it's like I, it's like I'm doing well, and I can't even keep pace with them. But look at, oh my God, look at Russia and England. America is just like kind of like maybe I should just stay out of this war because things have not been going too badly for me. But Russia and England, things are going horrible for them. Okay, Russia took back a t one territory, one territory. That's all they did. And guess what? I think we have enough forces to invade Russia. All right, Japan, you got your greedy hands on like the entire world, but you know what? Russia belongs to me. Russia is mine now. Russia belongs to the Germans. That was a hybrid Russian-German accent. Um, okay, so let's let's go with. Hmm, 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 hmm. That looks good to me. Three armor, four soldiers. I mean, we don't have enough money to actually buy significant forces here because our money keeps running out. So I'm moving all my troops in here. I'm leaving his one plane undefended. There'll be no one here. Actually, I guess there'll be like three soldiers. Um, if, if you know, he really wants, or if this guy really wants, he could attack and kill his plane. I don't think Russia will be in the mood to do anything once we take their capital, but you never know. I guess we'll move this one soldier up there. Why not? I guess let's help our despicable ally, the Japanese. <laughs> they keep screwing us over pretty badly, actually, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to move some troops up here. I'm gonna bring, the boats aren't going to do anything this turn because there's really nothing for them to do. I don't want to move these guys out of Africa because then like America might come and start liberating stuff. So i got to keep a guy or two around. But this is our move. This is our move. Man, I can't believe how well Japan is doing. You know what? what the only thing that surprises me is they haven't had any interest in conquering uh, America or any other stuff like that. Like, I mean, they're doing well enough for Australia. Like, okay, what's going to happen now that they have the French Madagascar? Now that they finally secured the French Madagascar, which I know is on the top of their to-do list for a long time, where is this transport going to go? Because it has just conquered areas I had no idea was even interesting conquering. So, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see. Anyway, let's see what happens over here. Russia. Oh, they're totally losing. Ten soldiers against, like, 25. We totally got them. They are going down. One, two, three, four. I hope they don't even kill a single tank. That would be the dream. The dream, oh, the dream is alive. Oh, Russia sucks. We took 17 IPCs. Okay, this pretty much means that we almost have as much money as the Japanese, as the Japanese get every turn. We stole all of Russia's money and we almost have as much money as what the Japanese get every turn. Um, I'll still take it because I'm desperate for money apparently, but um, non-combat move. Can I move? No, oh, I left this totally undefended, which means it's totally getting attacked. Oh, well, well, we'll just take it back. We have enough troops. We'll just take it back. I guess leaving one soldier in a territory wasn't enough to entice them to break up this 27. The entire game, they were really adamant about keeping those 27 soldiers together. Maybe now this is... Come on, you gotta go with this. This is totally empty. Totally empty. If you don't take that, there's something wrong. Um, okay, now... Can I place anything here? No, I can't because I just captured it. They need some time to patriate into the German ways before they can start producing, before they learn the the sacred art of producing soldiers, which uh, it's a, it's an ancient uh, textile art. You have to handcraft them out of uh, paper mache. That's what our army's based on. Forty eight IPCs, again, almost as much as the Japanese, and they destroyed six of them. Well, you know what? That still keeps us in the sixties, which uh, to help screw you. England, you captured Eastern Europe, but you're not going to last it for very, you're not going to get it for very long. Take that back any day now. Uh, USA has done like nothing all game. German military forges ahead. Yes, we almost caught up to our ally who we're totally not competing with and who we do not suspect is plotting against us. 
All right, see, now's the point where you could spend money on weapons development, but it's still not worth it. It's still just better to start buying stuff. Now, what the hell's going on in Corellia here? Because that is, that is hard. Look at all the freaking soldiers. It's crazy. Oh, they finally broke up their army. Finally. Okay, so we can actually invade that and possibly uh, destroy most of their troops. Okay. So we really just want lots of soldiers and tanks. Guess what? It's a it's a formula that's worked well for us, and we're gonna we're gonna keep using it. And we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go like this. We just really want to make sure that we take this territory. We we don't want any we don't want there to be any questions about whether or not we're gonna get this. And like this. And like there's. It'd be really fun to plan an invasion of America, but I don't think we could actually pull it off. We could get Brazil, potentially. Maybe we should build up a fleet and just try and get Brazil, because that'd be fun. Oh, they took Panama back. Yeah, of course they did. If I was here, one, two. I could get into Western Canada. That would be pretty exciting. You know, normally what you do when you conquer the world is you start going for England, because once you capture England, you'll have Russia and it's done. I say, let's go and capture my homeland. Let's make this exciting, guys. So let's go ahead and go like this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna play it all coy here for a time. We're gonna have to build up a German fleet because this might be a suicide mission. What we're about to do, but uh, I mean, the Allies are screwed. They're not gonna have enough money to do anything. So with just a matter of time, we're gonna totally win this game. So you know what happens when you start winning a war decisively? You get cocky. That's the gaming J way, and nothing could possibly go wrong. We got three hits on us, but they were decimated. Newsflash: Germany has taken Eastern Europe. Now they're going to take that. So we're just going to leave a territory open for them because that totally split their army in half and we're just going to whittle them down, um, which is uh, an awesome strategy. I mean, within a turn or two, we'll be able to take Corellia. Look at all the tanks we've got. We've got 26 tanks uh, plus 14 soldiers on the screen. No, 18. Yeah, they're, they're done. They're done. Let's continue to bomb them. Oh, they killed our bomber. Oh, well, we can buy another one. Who cares about that? That bomber was weak and stupid. Um, okay. Okay. Now, let's make sure that we defend ourselves appropriately. We're going to place a lot of soldiers here. And um, let's mix our tanks around. Ah, why not throw a few in Russia? A few Russian-built German tanks. That's a rarity in the world. England is going to bomb us, probably. Destroys one IPC. Okay. Uh Oh, they're actually attacking us. Crap. Crap. Okay. Well, our our I our fantasy of just, you know, attacking Canada is going to have to wait for a turn. Oh, they destroyed our battleship. Uh and our transport. Now, this is fun. When uh when you're defending a territory and there's joint forces, you get to assign who the casualties are. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and ooh, put on the Japanese. <laughs> My, my my ally there. Um, oh, and they retreated. Okay, fair enough. England has 17 IPCs. It's about to lose them all. No, Japan! Japan heard our awesome strategy of invading Canada, and they've already started it. They've invaded Me Mexico. Oh, they, it's like the, the Americans couldn't even take Mexico back. Oh, no, that's... Oh, no, that that's a problem. We can't, we can't have them also have America. Come on, come on, America, pump something out of the Western US. It's literally, this is literally completely undefended territory. You, God damn it! <laughs> Stop screwing this up for me, America. I want a glorious German victory here. I don't want to have to bow to the Japanese. Okay, I guess we don't have as much money as I thought we did. Um, how, how do we want to play this? That's, that's a ton of guys though. I feel like we're still not ready yet to attack here. Uh, okay, we, we totally got to, like... We, we, we got to build up some uh, some transports and stuff here. So we're going to spend a couple turns building battleships and stuff. And to hell with it. We're gonna, we might lose a plane or two. We got to get rid of these battleships. Because they're really causing us problems. So we'll do that. Then we'll go like this this the full might of the german combined arms um like this 
and all of our troops over. Okay, next turn we're going for Corellia. We're, we're just, we're, we're, we're in the mix. We, we can no longer hang around by the sidelines. Two guys over there. Everything seems well defended. Okay. Let's see what happens with this battle. Okay. I hope they both miss. It, I have to get two hits here, first of all. Because I can't go two rounds with these ships. They're going to sink all, they're going to crash all of our planes. But I got to get two hits, and I hope they both miss. Two hits, I got my two hits. And they got two hits, so they destroyed two of my aircraft. That is a hefty cost. I mean, the planes cost half as much as Battleship, but still, that's, that's freaking brutal. Okay, here we go. Destroyed. They didn't get a single defensive hit in. Oh, the English need to train their forces better. Uh, we're leaving this totally open. I'm sure this Japanese plane is going to be destroyed, but uh, oops. It's not like they're our allies or anything. Maybe we should also build an aircraft carrier, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna put two soldiers here and two transports. There we go. All right, that looks good to me. 48 IPC. UK has taken Eastern and, god damn it, can, can we crash one of their bombers? We shot down an American one. How many turns does it take to shoot down a British bomber? No, they're taking Canada! No! They're beating us to it! They're beating us to it, Japan, no! No, Japan, bad ally! Allies don't take each other's homelands! As long as he leaves me Eastern Canada, because I'm from Toronto, so... But that, that is, that is ridiculous! No, b bad Japan! USA, do something here! With your two soldiers and two tanks. You know the crappy thing about this? is that by attacking these territories, he's making America get paranoid. America's starting to build troops. I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to conquer Eastern Canada. I just want, I just want Toronto. I wanna make that the new German capital. Toronto, that's all I want. Okay, uh, aircraft carrier. Hell, I don't know. That's like, that's, that's, that's like all I had it in me to build. Okay, the hell, the hell, Karelia has got to go. I there, it seems like there's a big international party here of troops, and just seriously, no, 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 I don't, I, I, I don't stand for this. Not in German territory, buddy, bub. I just hope the Japanese don't swing through and take Finland. Oh, we're finally gonna get Finland back. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. Put in two soldiers. Move these over here, move these, put in... Oh no, wait, wait, wait. We don't want any soldiers in here in case they actually sink us. Bring my uh, battleship over, okay. That looks good to me. So what we're gonna have to do, this is gonna be have, to, have to be like a Blitzkrieg, which is a term that was coined in uh, World War II, coincidentally. So we're gonna have to go like this to the North Atlantic, and then over here, get all our troops over here, because as soon as we get here, we are going to bring down the wrath of the United States and British navies on us, and our ships are dead. These ships are dead. But if we can land four troops over here, that's pretty awesome. Um, and I'd be happy about that. And with, I guess, Japan supporting us in Western Canada, maybe we'll actually have a shot of taking, uh, taking North America. Which is the dream. That's the dream, guys. Let's see if it can be a reality. All right. The decisive battle in Karelia. Jesus, there's like tw there's like 25 troops, but we have like 21 tanks, so they're totally dead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, jeez. Okay, let's do it! We're It's all or nothing, folks! All the German infantry are dead. Oh, but that's it! 32 tanks remaining! Yeah, good, good luck taking that back, uh, England. Russia has like no, this is like the last bastion of Soviet Russia. Finland slash Norway. Is that actually a country? Is Finland slash Norway a country? Or are they two countries? Just joking, obviously they're two countries. I'm just being stupid. Okay. Uh, Non-combat move. I'm good. I'm good with that. Uh, so we'll place this. Place soldiers here. Oh no, don't place the aircraft carrier in Germany. Tell you what, go ahead and place it in the med. Go ahead and put it in water. I'm gonna throw out a crazy idea. Let's put our aircraft carrier in the water. Again with the destroying of the IPCs. 
Stay away from my IPCs. I think they stand for induction, industrial production credits or something like that. Something like that. Okay, well, Japan is fending off attacks. America took Mexico back. Does that mean it's now uh, Mexican, or sorry, American property? German war machine gains ground. Hey, we're catching up to the Japanese, the nefarious Japanese. Maybe we can actually uh, turn the tides on them. Okay, um, you know what I am going to do? No, I don't know if I want to do this or not. Maybe I should. I'm going to skip a turn so that the next turn we can build like a massive fleet. We're just going to hold on to our money. This is, you don't normally do this, but I am this time around. Like this, like this, like this, like this. Hey, I'll send them all. Or most of them. We'll set, I'll leave three troops back. In case uh, we get attacked, I can, like, decide on the defense. Although, if that's my only reason for doing it, why don't I just leave one? Eh, that's good enough. Hey, we got we got Japanese planes just hanging out in England. Or, uh, in Germany. Man, this does not seem like an alliance that is trustworthy. Look at all the Japanese troops in my territory. They're, like, all over the place. Something's going on. They're planning an offensive. Alright, but so am I. My offensive is called Invade Canada. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know. Undo, undo this one. We'll leave one troop in Africa. Load these guys up. That's good. All right, here's hoping my uh, battleship can retreat after this. But I don't know if that's realistic or not. I'm going to move two of my aircraft. So once you have an aircraft carrier, you can put the aircraft in the aircraft carrier. So now they can actually defend in a sea zone, which is pretty important, actually. Well, guess what? I got Toronto. Glory be to Toronto, Canada, I guess. Alaska and Western Canada are Japanese. And we're, we're, we're just constantly one step behind our own ally here. Like, it's been pretty easy to actually destroy the Russians and the British and stuff. And even America's like on their back foot now. But you know, the one the one thorn on our side this entire game has been our own ally, this, the nefarious, the treacherous Japanese. They're like the Ordos from uh, Dune 2. Six tanks destroyed. Oh, but they're done. They might get one more. Oh, they got one more. Oh, well. We decimated them. They're pretty much screwed. They'll never get back on the mainland now. There's like no possibility of it. And like at this point, the game is essentially done. So if we had an IPC victory, so I'm getting like 50 IPCs per turn. Japan's getting like uh, 50 themselves, so up to 100 IPCs. So the IPC victory for Japan and England, I think was 80. So we are, we're definitely well past winning. Like at this point, uh, there's really no way for uh, America to kind of pull it together and win. So at this point, they should really be talking negotiations. So just like gaming, this will be a new territory called Gaming Jtopia because uh, I'm going to betray the evil Nazi Germans and overthrow them. And uh, their whole empire will break up and blah, blah, blah. Who cares about that? But this will be a glorious new beginning for Canada under the, under the benevolent rule of uh, Gaming J. Uh, Gaming Jtopia. This is all I wanted this entire time. The, in the entire uh, National Socialism Nazi Party was just a big ploy by Gaming J to conquer Toronto so he could turn it, turn it into a gaming paradise. That's my, that's my end game, guys. It, everything I've ever done, from starting a YouTube channel to playing this game, has all been a strategic calculated move to conquer Eastern Canada and turn it into a gaming paradise. And one day I will achieve that victory. And you guys are all welcome on that glorious, glorious day. I didn't buy anything. Germany spent a year, literally didn't produce a single thing. They were like, you know what? We're good on troops. We're good. Um, I'm going to do this, and maybe I can retreat. Nope, I can't retreat. Well, that was a waste. Damn it. Well, we it cost us a battleship and two troop transports, but we were able to conquer Eastern Canada. I consider that a, a win. That's a, that's like a that's not even a soft win. That's a hard win. And they're too busy trying to take Western uh, Western Canada back. Little do they know. Oh, look at all the money we've got now. Little do they know. That uh, I really don't even want the Eastern U.S. You guys can keep it. I'm, I'm totally happy here. I, I will be... W let's have a new alliance. America, ceasefire. How about it? Ceasefire. Oh, shit. Look. England is totally undefended. Oh, it is on. 
The time has come. The glory, the plan that was so nefarious, I didn't even know I was doing it. I distracted them away from England, and now I will take their capital, and they're gonna be screwed. So let's go ahead and build up in the Baltic Sea, because that's as good enough place as any. So we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna go like this. We want like a lot of troop transports. Can I move these guys up? Oh, I totally can. Oh man. This is this was so this is a, a plot worthy of a of a evil genius, if I do say so myself. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and buy all that stuff. Now we're going to go like this. Like this. Like this. These guys are just gonna chill out here. Hopefully they're too busy fighting um fighting Japan to really worry about us. We're gonna invade England. Psych! You thought I wanted Toronto. Actually, I want England. No, I really do want Toronto, though. Don't don't take Toronto back. Whatever you do. Just leave it for me. Trust me. I'll do good things here. I'll do good work. I'm very humanitarian, actually. It'd be, it would be a gamer's paradise. You know what? It wouldn't just be a gamer's paradise. It'd be an everybody paradise. I'm very inclusive like that. Um, non -com I really have no moves to make. Germany is all out of moves. We had a few good moves. Now, now we're, we're, we've become much, much of a passive empire. That's really what we are now. Okay. The next turn is the big invasion of England, the Battle of Britain. What is going to happen? Oh no, they're dying in Eastern Canada. Defend, defend yourself. No, German, no. No, they sp they've been playing too many video games. Oh, they're completely ineffective. Completely ineffective, these troops. Oh, we only got one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, oh, they got Australia. I didn't even know Australia was in the mix anymore. <laughs> Australia was down there just like, please, nobody remember about us. We've seen what's happening around the rest of the world. Just forget we exist. Oh, uh, man, look, that was the glory days when we had Jatopia, and now these are the dark times after Jtopia. Okay. Let's stop uh, let's stop lollygagging around here and invade England and be done with this. I guess we have to invade England and we oh god, look at all the troops now in America. America's now like, oh you know you know what a good thing to do is? Uh, defend your homeland because I think they're coming for us. Uh, they've militarized North America there. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's build a factory because we're gonna place it in Western Europe here so we can actually start building ships over here. And other than that, guess what? We're going to skip our turn again because we just want to pump out a crap ton of expensive units the next turn. Seven, eight, nine. So we have two battleships here. We're going to send in all of our planes. Did they sink our bomb? I think they shot down our bomber a long time ago. It's like been so long, I don't even remember. Okay, so we'll send in four troops and the rest are just tanks. And we can afford to do this for a few more rounds if they somehow survive. So they're they're not gonna survive. Five, six, seven tanks. Load four troops. We got all the planes going in there. Move some stuff over. We are good. Can't believe they took Toronto back. Bombard. And here we go. They're gonna get one round of attack with their AA guns, and their AA guns, if they roll a one, they sink they they shoot down our planes. So here's hoping. Okay. Well, they got one. We got two hits with our battleships, though, which are pretty... That's pretty cool. Three, four... Are we gonna be able to do this? Let's go for it! Four... One, two... Okay... Oh, we got this. We got this in the bag! No! Three versus four. Let's just do it! Oh, no! Okay, to hell with that retreat. Okay, we got we got one more round in us. Well, we totally got this. They have literally no soldiers left. They're done. You guys should literally fly over to Canada because we're coming for you next. And we have no units to place. That's okay. 117 IPCs. They destroyed one. Well, you gotta try, I suppose. Suppose nobody can fault you for trying. 
Um, this is a fun game. I remember playing a bo this, this board game, by the way, with friends. Um, I was introduced to it by a friend of mine who always plays a lot of really awesome board games. Every time I go and see him, him and his wife are always like, hey, here's a new board game. It's like free to ride or like uh, there's like a bean game we played once or there's like a mining game. I don't know. He, he always has tons and tons of cool board games. I don't know how he hears about these things. Um, but uh, oh, we're, we're building like a ton of battleships. Built some planes because we lost some of those. Uh, maybe another aircraft carrier. Let's just go crazy with it. Um, we don't. We're not even building troops here. We'll buy one soldier. Out of all of this, one soldier got trained. Um, but yeah, I remember playing this. My friend introduced me to this, and this is just such an awesome game when he did. And I remember playing it with like him and his friends, and uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. His one friend who's playing as America was like super risky. He uh, he put he built a bunch of ships over here to try and attack Japan, and that went really bad because Japan is really strong. America really has to focus on taking down Germany first because if it if America doesn't focus on Germany, Germany will take over USSR and, and England can't stop them. And then I America's over here tangling with Japan, but it doesn't really matter in the end. So America has to focus on Germany first, and then the, everyone can kind of start to focus on Japan once Germany is on the back foot, even if you can't take over Germany. But uh, he was he basically like sent send a bunch of forces over here and uh, they all got all the ships that were transporting them got sunk over here. So they were all like stranded or I think it was over here in Hawaii. Then he spent all his money on like research roles. I should do a round of research roles just to show you guys how ineffective it is. But uh, yeah, it was it was pretty hilarious. I mean, he was just having fun and so were all of us, but he was not a very effective player. Um, I also remember that we started playing that game at like three in the afternoon and we had to like uh, just sort of rush through the, the end of the game because uh, I had to go to a movie at like 9 p.m. and we still weren't done. Like, this is a long game to play um, if you're playing it um, in person. I'm going to send my planes in even though they might get shot down because what the hell, I'll just buy new ones. Well, you can't take them with you guys. Might as well spend them while you got them. Oh, the AA gun shot down both of them. Oh, that's that's the worst possible outcome. And my battleships hit both, missed both. Oh, that that is that is ex extremely extremely bad. Okay, but we got England. Oh God, that was horrible. That was the worst possible outcome. Okay. Well, access triumph secured. Oh, victory! Oh, we didn't even get to go back to uh, Canada. Oh man. Well, let's look at our statistics here. We have USSR. Uh, they start at 24. They're currently at zero. A hard zero. UK started at 30, they ended at 12, so it's just a negative 60% uh, loss of all their power. Japan started at 25, ended at 53, that is good for them. Hey, Germany and Japan tied, I consider that a victory. Well, they had like a bigger gain in terms of percentage, but like, we ended up at the same point, so let's not split hairs here. America went down a bit. I guess America has now decided, you know what, uh, that ceasefire you offered, we're still interested. We are still interested, by the way. Um, literally nobody spent anything on weapons development, which is pretty funny. Here are all the losses and casualties. how Germany do? Losses. I had 79 losses, which is the highest of any country. Wow. But I had 127 kills, which is by far the highest. So I killed almost two and a half times more than my competitors. And the U.S. didn't really do anything. Um, so I had a huge net. Japan had a net as well. Everyone else had a... Uh, Value of units. Let's see. I killed 500 valued worth of units and only lost. Oh, only lost 422. It's quite a bit. I never usually look at all these statistics. I usually skip it. Um, what does round do? Oh, it's just the statistics for the round compared to the whole game. Cool, cool. Um, well, I'm just gonna hop back in real quick here just to show you guys what happens if you spend your money on uh, research rolls. So we get to replay. Um, Submerge. Get to get to get to replay these decisive early battles. I think that was the only thing that happened. Okay, so let's say Germany's feeling adventurous. They're like, let's spend it all on research and see what happens. And literally none of those rolls worked. Oh no, wait, two of them did. Oh, sorry, you got to roll sixes. So I got super subs and rockets. That's nice, but now I got no money. And super subs. Oh, there's a German super sub. Hold on, let's let's see what this thing is about. I think it has like two hit points or something now. So the super, so I got super subs, and I got rockets, which basically means um, 
my AA guns, if they are next to an enemy territory, will automatically shoot so I can bomb enemy territories for free, which sounds good, but again, I got no units for that turn. Let's go ahead and send our super subs and just, just out of curiosity, see what happens. Whom do you want to attack? Hmm, interesting choice. Let's attack the UK. Rocket attack destroys. Oh, this is for my rockets. Yeah, see, so you get free bombing, which is pretty cool, I guess. Oh, the, the subs, I guess, just have more attack. Remain, attack, sink the battleship. Oh man, these, these things are going doing really well. Oh my god. Maybe I should have played this round through. I'm, I'm doing really well here. Huh, interesting. I guess research is not as bad as I thought. No, it is bad because I'm going to have a turn of no units. I'm going to fall behind real quick. Anyway, that's kind of what uh, research is about. Anyway, uh, Axis and Allies here. I was just playing this as part of my Saturday afternoon gaming series, just having a bit of fun with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me conquer the world. I'm so sorry that the glorious land of Jaytopia was not able to become a reality. But as I said, guys, every move I have ever made my entire life has been slowly moving me towards the conquering of Eastern Canada and turning, turning it into a gamer's paradise. So that dream will never die as long as I don't. Um, <laughs> and I hope I don't die anytime soon. Anyway. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, go ahead, like it, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll be back in a few days with a new video, a new game, and I'll see you guys then. All right, peace.